Tyler, what's up? How you doing, man? Doing good, how are you? I am well. Oh, is that a brake fluid brake exchange? Fluid. See, you're gonna be a technician one day. Come on, come on. Okay, as you do that, are you ready for the customer question of, of the day? Okay, here we go. Customer asks, premium versus regular gas. Are they really different? Like really just got a new car, my first ever <laughs> turbocharged engine, and she's getting thirsty. You're laughing, Tyler. Yeah. Okay, what, what? So yeah. they are different. Yeah. Um, refer to manufacturer specifications. Some cars do require premium. If they're turbocharged, if they run a really high compression, a lot of the time they do require premium. Oh, legit? Uh, Harley, stuff like that. A lot of small motors. Um, the majority of cars, this RAV4 here, Forerunners, uh, Tacomas, there's no premium needed for it. If your car does require premium, there'll be a warning label right here. Uh, requires premium, requires 97. Sometimes it will even be on the fuel cap. Okay. Um, so it's usually a pretty pretty good indication. Uh, if you're not sure, you can always refer to your owner's manual. Okay. Um, whatever the car says in the owner's manual is what the car needs. Let's get personal though. You drive a big old truck. I do. Do you use premium 96, not 94? Not even a chance. <laughs> I drive in smiles per gallon, not miles per gallon. So hey. there's no way I'm filling it up with premium. I like that, <laughs> smiles per gallon. Okay, okay, cool. So to answer that question, premium versus regular gas, are they really different they are they are but if your car does not require it i would not recommend spending the extra money on it mm -hmm. go go with smiles per gallon not miles per gallon <laughs> okay love it okay awesome thank you tyler have a good one